Movies. Addicts. Movie Addicts Anonymous. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Batman. Wait, don't no. don't he, do that. He actually doesn't. No, talk. he says I'm vengeance. Yeah, I'm vengeance. But then he's hope, or he's like a, <laughs> he's like a um Alfred. You're not my father. I'm like what? I wish they did more with Alfred in the movie. I'm immediately going to cut you off and go right into my my chips. Yeah, so today, actually, <laughs> there's a few segments. You haven't done the podcast in a hot no. second. We have to get to the segments first. This We're talking about the Batman, the Batman, 2022. Um, we, we've we had a journey with this movie. When I first watched it, I was like, this is a 5 out of 10. I don't really like it. Yeah, me too. And I kind of influenced you with that. I'll admit, like, yeah. I think you liked it, but then I convinced you not to like it. <laughs> and then on second watch, I was like, okay, this is a little better. And now, like, really thinking about it, I did. I thought it was really cool. I mean, it inspired my makeup. I'm emo. That's the biggest downfall is I just don't like emo Bruce Wayne. But I think he's going to evolve into something better. Exactly. Because yeah. that, so I didn't like it at first either. I was like five out of ten. And then I've given it some more thought and I've talked to some other friends about it. Um, And I think all the things that I didn't like about it, I just completely, like, misconceived. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I didn't like the emo Bruce Wayne either. Yeah. But... Oh, I should have put my hair down. Like, No, I think we're good with this. <laughs> but but I think that was the point. Like, this is, like, an early on Batman where yeah. he's just focusing on being Batman. Yeah. And, like, the whole arc of the movie was I am vengeance to I am hope. So that fucking... Like, I think I just didn't pay attention enough. <laughs> and that's yeah. why I didn't like it. So... But, yes. but I do like it. it. It was very fucking good. Yeah, it's so good. There's so much to get into. But before we get into our movie addict chips is where we talk about our biggest takeaways. We do something now called a 30 second wrap up where we have to say everything that happened in the movie in 30 seconds. Fuck. I can't remember half of it. So, yeah, it was a long movie. And that and you're going first. So are you ready? Jesus Christ. Set. Go. Ba ba Batman, uh, do uh, I am vengeance? Uh, it's Halloween, and then and then the penguin, and then he figure out dad like dad were bad, but then dad were good, dad were good, dad not bad, and then um, why is that uh, voice? Kravitz <laughs> like Zoe Kravitz? I got ten seconds. Uh, was in there at some point. She she was working as like a stripper at some some thing, but I don't know if she was a stripper. I don't want to be. I don't want to get canceled. And then uh, Batman is hope. Time all done. Oh, and then the Riddler. I completely forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I completely um, forgot the main fucking middle. So if you guys haven't seen this movie, that pretty much wraps it all up. Yeah, I did that a good job. That is the movie. Okay, um, so I gotta go. So you tell me when to go. Go! <laughs> uh, okay. This is year two Batman, okay? Wearing makeup. Pattinson. He's not sparkly anymore. There's Catwoman. I love myself. Michelle Pfeiffer. Now I love Zoe Kravitz. The Riddler's an incel. Yeah. Like what's going on he's super creepy he laughs really weird joker's in it um there's a batmobile colin farrell like transformed for this fucking role and he's penguin now and batman ends up stopping the riddler and eh. i think you prepared that i think you put some thought into that i didn't have any sort of notice that i had to do do that i didn't put any thought into it you you clearly were prepared for this i was not Oh, yeah, because you didn't know he did the third. I didn't right know. Up. I was put on the spot, and I completely yeah. I messed it up. Well, I'm actually not high. When I, when I did the Eleanor Stellar one really high, it was bad. Yeah, I think you are, because almost every single word that just came out of your mouth was very slurred. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure you said interstellar as... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, yeah. maybe not, but that's what I heard. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what the movie's about. Um, so what is your first chip? Um, I think my first chip is going to be more of a personal chip on yeah. how I didn't like it at first, but the more that I've sat on it, the more I've really fucking liked it. I, I think it yeah. was, uh, there was a lot going on, so it literally took some time of reflection to get the full experience out of it. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Like, no. it was a long motherfucker. It was so very... It, and there, a lot that's, went on in it. That's my biggest gripe. My two biggest, like, ne knocks on this, it doesn't make it a 10 out of 10 that takes points out, is... It felt too long, a little too bloated. Like, by hour two, I'm like, okay, let's wrap this up. Yeah, but the pacing of the first two hours was amazing. Yeah. And then I think towards that last hour, was... the pacing got a little iffy. And I just, 
not fully sold on Pattinson as Bruce Wayne yet. I'm sold on him as Batman. Suits cool. Uh, but I agree, as Bruce Wayne, not so much. And I don't know so cool. I don't know if he'll be able to do it. Like if they do bring the character into more of like a cocky like Bruce Wayne Bruce Playboy Wayne, type. I, I don't know if he'll I don't know. I don't know. He might be able to pull it off. I think he could. But we I don't think I've ever seen him in a role like that. So I don't no. know if that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so I want to look at the, if we have numbers here. Yeah. So, so far this movie has made $250 million. Yeah. It had a good opening. That's wild. And so this is only Monday after it came out last Thursday. What was Spider-Man opening weekend? Um, Spider-Man still won. I don't remember though. But because opening weekend um, was 128 US and 250 like worldwide. Look up No Way Home. I just want to know because that's like, and I know like people are probably gonna shit on me for comparing it to No Way Home, but like I, I'm just I looking heard at No it, Way Home still did better. Yeah, but I'm looking at it in terms okay, of okay opening weekend it did double two sixty US, yeah. so it doubled. But I'm looking at it in terms of uh, movies are back. It's baby. made one point eight billion. That's crazy. Did you know that like it? I don't. No Way Home wasn't shown in China, and it hit one point eight really? billion. Yeah, look it up. I'm pretty sure. That's nuts. And I don't think I don't know after this isn't about Marvel. I know, but I'm just saying like (laughs) I like this is cool about and I don't know if Batman was in China either, but like a lot of these movies aren't being released in China anymore and they're killing it. Like that's insane for a movie that isn't released in China. Just saying. Yeah. The film opened on a massive number. The Batman does not open in China until March 18th. Yeah. So look at that. It's killing it, and it yeah. was an opening weekend in China. That's nuts. So that, like, that's a good show. Yeah, that's good. Um, my first chip is I need to give a huge shout out to the soundtrack. Mm. It was so good. The yeah. Nirvana song is so such a cool like theme song for this new Batman, and just kind of the co- the set design, the costume design, the whole like. I really like this take on Gotham. It felt very like you just get immersed in this. And it's always raining. People, I, I never said to. People are going <laughs> to shit on me for saying this. Um, yeah. But it felt a little nostalgic for me because it felt a lot like the first Lego Batman game. <laughs> did yeah. you ever play that? Yes, I did. Yeah, it yeah. felt like that. And I played that game so much as a kid. So, like, having Gotham kind of feel like that era of Batman it did. was it felt, cool. It felt very just, like, dark, dreary. And, like... I like how they introduced the new, like, drug, like, the drop heads or whatever. I thought that was kind of... No, but it shows that guy wearing a drop head mask in the beginning, so he's literally a drop head. Yeah. That was cool. I um, thought I thought that was neat. Um, I think they're going to... They might introduce Vertigo. He's a big, like, Batman villain that yeah. does a drug. I think... But I feel like them, like, kind of creating, like, some new drug, um, it made the world building a bit too much. Because it felt very realistic... This otherwise one, yeah so like when they said that i, I was mean, like oh just say just real. say like coke yeah just I, say like normal drug. because yeah. then it would really feel like it was yeah. real yeah you know what i mean yeah. like sometimes when movies drop like these unique terms that are only in that universe it feels really out of place yeah and that was one of them for me but i don't care like it didn't ruin the movie i really like his costume it's cool it's the like bat- steampunky the batman suit was really good um was, but what year is it based show? in it's technically like based in 2020 something, right? Yeah. Because but that was so weird to me because whenever I watched the trailers, I was like, "Oh, this is like based in the 70s." Yeah. And I I didn't like I kind of wish that it was based in the 70s. And like a different time era. Yeah, that's what I kind of that's well, that this, was my initial thought when I saw it. It so. almost felt kind of timeless. Like it didn't have an exact cuz they didn't say the date. I like, do agree with that. Year, they yeah. said a year. And yeah. the cool thing is this whole movie happened in um 7 days. So it was like he was like God creating whatever, like the world. <laughs> I don't know about religion, but because it says October 31st and then at the end of the movie it says November 6th. It had dates? Je- not the year, just the- No, but it had dates where? Yeah, in the beginning. When? I don't fucking remember it. That's what I that, mean. It was long. That first scene when Riddler is like breathing, he's like. <sighs> He's always like, oh, boy, yeah. like, and he's watching the little kid going out for Halloween. Yeah, 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 yeah. It I remember said now. that. I fucking so let's talk about the Riddler. Let's make that my yeah. next chip. Okay. Because I think did you just did a chip now my chip. Yeah. Um, Riddler, didn't like it at first, a little weird, but now yeah. that I've sat on it, I thought it was amazing. 
Yeah, I think I it, thought it was amazing. It was cool. I mean, that felt realistic of nowadays of like just like weird. It just felt like he's like a school shooter that decided to <laughs> shoot up the school, blow up Gotham. Yeah. It, like, no, I agree. It wasn't that much of a stretch. Like, it felt like an R-rated movie. And I, it, yeah, what was the rating? PG thirteen. Oh, okay. It it was borderline yeah. like. I wish that it was an R rating because I feel like it yeah. it, it could have gone just that step farther. But it was already there. Like it was it was a yeah, it was like an R-rated movie. My favorite thing about Riddler is like cause Riddler's a really cool villain with all like the clues and shit, especially in the Arkham games, it's really fun going for Oh yeah. Riddler. Yeah. Um I liked that the Riddler wasn't really that evil. He was he was killing corrupt people. Yeah. He even thought he was on Batman's, Batman's side. side. Yeah. I really liked that too because it kinda gave like a different well, I I think, like, I'm a huge Batman fan, and yeah. a huge trend in, like, a lot of the stories is, oh, Batman creates his villains. Yeah. And I think that was kind of a take on that. It was, like, Riddler saw what Batman was doing. Yeah. Wanted to be a part of that. Yeah. And he thought that he was. So, yeah. like, it's like a literal take on, oh, my God, he created this villain, you know? Yeah, it was really cool. And then I did like how the backstory tied into Bruce Wayne where he, because I think he grew up envious of Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Seeing he was, because Riddler was an orphan. He sees this rich orphan. So he's just, like, mad. He's like, fuck you. You get to go to a mansion. That was a good scene, he's too. He's like, I'm a better orphan. Like, he, or, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he was, yeah. he was, he must have been envious of Bruce Wayne the whole time. And... In that scene, you didn't know if he knew he was. Yeah, Bruce Wayne or Pattinson not. fucking pulled that off good. It was so good because yeah. he kept going Bruce Wayne. He kept saying Bruce Wayne, and you're like, does he know? And then he's yeah. like, the only one we didn't get. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was really good. That was a good reenactment of yeah. Paul Dano's Riddler. Yeah, um, yeah. So he Riddler was really cool. Um, and I like that. I like that. I guess they technically did that in the Nolan movies too, where like the mob families were kind of like the real villains and then yeah these like smaller guys came in like the psychos came in and they were like a second part to it yeah because the... that, that was because that reminded me of the nolan films a lot yeah. and i'm not wrong like right no, like the... in the joker yeah. one like joker came in but the mob families were kind of the real yeah joker the real deal went to the mob families and did the iconic i want to make this pencil disappear. yeah oh fuck that yeah yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, I, uh, the, yeah, the Falcones and, like, the Maroni, or Falcones and Maronis have always, like, been a big part of. Yeah, but I, I liked that um, they, f I feel like they really fleshed that out, like, yeah, a lot in this did. movie, yeah. and, like, they're gonna well, be making the Penguin, up, yeah, yeah, the Penguin, penguin. show. Is that which, gonna be a show or a movie? I think it's gonna be a show. Okay, They're cool. They're making two shows. One show is based off of Arkham. So, in do you think they're gonna come out in between now and the next? I Batman? hope so, and I hope yeah. that they lead into the next movie. Yeah. Because at least be rumors cool. heard is that yeah. Two Face is in Arkham and he's gonna escape yeah. somehow, and then that's gonna be the next movie. Rumors. That's cool. So, but that would be a way to lead into it. Like, there's an Arkham show that kind of yeah. introduces some of the Rogue Gallery, and then it leads like the end of the season. They all fucking break out or some shit. Yeah, this movie just feels so world building. Um, let's go. My next chip is Catwoman. Um, so what was your take on Zoe Kravitz? I, I really good, but I still stand by. She's so hot. Yeah. Can we talk about Gorge? But I still stand and she by out the short hair. <laughs> Sorry. Our first, our first thing when we walked out of the movie was this felt like a Catwoman movie. Yeah. And it, I think now that I've thought about it more. It was, but it wasn't. Like, there there were pretty much two movies in one, in my mind. Yeah. There was the Catwoman movie, then the Batman movie. This movie could have been called Batman and Catwoman. Yeah. And I think... So, here's the other thing is... I kind of think I would have enjoyed... I would have enjoyed this more if... No, because I did really enjoy it. What am I trying to say? I think, I think a Catwoman... If this was just a Catwoman movie, yeah. I would have really liked it. And I would have walked out of it um, with initially, like, really good thoughts yeah. about it but like it what, was good but what i think should have happened which would have been so cool is they should have made a batman movie and then a Catman. Uh, catman cat <laughs> Batman and then a cat is that woman. what you are yeah I'm catman. <laughs> and a catwoman movie and they both made like small cameos in those two movies and then the second batman they're together that would have been cool. i think that would have taken too long though yeah. i do kind of like that they i think from here on out like this whole universe is going to be really really good yeah. I just, I think this movie was setting it all up. Like, it was world building. And yeah. it did it really fucking well. Sorry, Zack Snyder. I think, I think yeah. this one, I think this one took the cake. 
yeah this is good like it's def he's definitely might be my favorite we're gonna do a video upcoming soon ranking all the batmans yes um the batman movies but he might be my favorite depiction of batman in the suit i don't know this may be one of my favorite batman movies it's but really I don't know because the Nolan yeah. movies are timeless for me because those were yeah. my that he was Christian Bale was my Batman like growing up yeah. so you know and then Ben Affleck always holds a place yeah. in my heart I thought he was a really good take on Batman too yeah me too Batfleck was cool I um oh yeah and I want to talk that um I like how Zoe Kravitz had like unrealistically two inch long nails the whole time as I if, did not even notice that <laughs> as if she'd be like robbing banks and fighting people with like not breaking a nail and she drank milk <laughs> she's sitting there like drinking a glass of milk when she's talking to him I didn't see you've seen the movie twice oh, yeah, so you've noticed twice. you've noticed other yeah. things and, yeah and I was like this is like she was literally a cat um, I really loved her. It was a little creepy that he was watching her change, but you know, and it felt their, um, relationship felt kind of forced because they saw each other twice. And by the third time they're making out, but I guess he's super, he does have a super hot <sighs> jaw. That is, that is Robert Pattinson's <laughs> number one feature is that fucking jaw. I know he looks better <laughs> in the Batman suit uh, get, there's some angles of like pictures of him where it's like holy fuck what is yeah. going on there like that jaw is huge it's wild yeah and so, i'm i'm saying that because i'm jealous like very yeah. so but he but then when he takes it off i'm like oh he's hotter when you just see the jaw um eh, so okay <laughs> you have a jaw thing. maybe yeah all right i'm into jaws i'll do uh the movie i like sharks <laughs> I'm really into jaws. yum um, have you, do you hear about that guy that got eaten by a shark in like Australia? No, we're doing a Batman podcast. Oh, okay. God um, damn it. What, do you have another chip? Um, we talked about Penguin. I liked it. I think, I think Penguin needs to be fleshed out a little more. And I think that's going to happen in the show. he's going to in a show. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. So like, that's, that's my only thought about him. Well, oh yeah. Um, well we got to say Penguin, my favorite line of the movie, Penguin's line. He says, I'm going to spray paint your ass. <laughs> when did he say that? <laughs> when, he, at, when um when Falcone gets shot, remember and like yeah and went, yeah and he's like I'm gonna spray paint your ass. <laughs> I remember laughing, but the Batmobile. And, but the, the fucking Batmobile is what made me think that this was based in the fucking seventies, you know. And okay, maybe that's maybe that's my last trip. Is just like I kind of yeah. want. Like, uh, fucking, I, I'm a slut for, like, old-timey movies yeah. where, like, it's not based in today. Yeah. Uh, and I kind of wanted that more from this. And maybe it is. Like, maybe maybe Matt Reeves somewhere said, like, oh, yeah, this is based in the 70s. Yeah. But, like, it just, like, there were certain things about it that didn't feel that way um, um, at all. I just... The Batmobile was sick. The fucking V12 fucking vroom, vroom. Yeah, it was oh. like a muscle car. But what the thing... The, the next Batman is going to have an electric car, though. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the last cool Batmobile. The cool thing about how they did it, though, is that they never even really showed it. It was all, like, silhouette. Kind of, you just heard the Batmobile. You saw the lights. You saw, like, the outline. That one scene didn't make any sense to me. What scene? So right when they introduced the Batmobile and it was like he turned it on and he was revving it. Yeah, he like waited for Penguin to get in his car. Yeah, no, 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 no. But what didn't make sense to me was Penguin got in his fucking car. Yeah. And decided to drive off. Yeah, I don't know why he was... That's what made zero sense to Penguin me. Penguin was standing in front of the Batmobile. Why didn't he... And he just revved it instead of just running him over? Okay, well, that makes sense. Batman doesn't kill. Oh, yeah, and, you're right. And, yeah. But why would you get in your fucking car... When you hear that monstrosity, that's what didn't make sense. Yeah, that scene felt a little forced. But it was so cool, though, when he, like, thought he killed him and he jumped, jumped out yeah. of the fire. Yeah. That was dope. There, So that's the other thing is, like, I think that this, <laughs> this took a lot of inspiration from Zack Snyder. Yeah. And I don't want people to shit on me for saying that. Um, Just based off of the visuals. Like, a lot of the things that I liked about the Snyderverse were just those insanely beautiful and, yeah. like amazing chore choreography like that batman scene in bvs like fucking yeah. cool but like that's what i think this movie had a good story good characters it was very tightly even though it was long it was a tight story and the visuals yeah. were there 
which is what I love the most about the Snyder. The visuals were really cool. It was very stylistically shot. Fucking so cool. It was kind of like a mix between like a noir and a Western feel because the Batman suit, like you could hear like spurs on it when he's like walking. Like the suit felt like heavy, like a Western, but then it was very noir. It was um, noir. It was also like a buddy cop um, film of like him and detective gordon before he's i fucking like that's i completely forgot gordon yeah. really good yeah he was good. really good yeah they're getting, this is they're, get, they're get, having a gordon show oh really yeah so th that's what i heard oh shit i i'm a little worried that they're or gonna no, or maybe like a movie or something i don't know there was something about gordon uh but they already did that this is my them. favorite take on gordon ever yeah even from the last one the last one was good this one's better um yeah but uh, I'm now. I'm a little worried that they're just gonna HBO Max the shit out of this universe, and it's gonna get bad. No, because Peacemaker was amazing. Yeah, I still haven't finished it, but it's so good. But like, I'm worried that they're just gonna like they're gonna see the success of this and they're gonna milk it because that's kind of what Warner has done. Yeah, I know. Like a lot. So it's <laughs> like I I'm more yeah. worried from a corporate standpoint, which was like the one of the major issues with the Snyderverse was yeah. just Warner being cucks. So. And then I really th so they definitely laid um, foreshadowing hints for Joker because they showed the Joker gang like the gang of people where are we positive that was like a Joker gang? Yeah, that's the okay. thing. In, that's the thing in Gotham. No, Florida. yeah, I, I know, but like, are we positive that that like yeah. is it confirmed? Yeah, because they were all they all had Joker makeup on. Was it a clown? Was it clown makeup? I don't think it was clown makeup. Yeah, it was. There's no way. I thought it was like skulls. Wait. I thought it was like a skull makeup. But there's no way that that wouldn't be the jo like the Joker um, gang in Gotham. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I, I just remembered it wrong. I yeah. thought that the makeup was like um, like skull makeup. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Where it, yeah. Like, you can like make, Day of the Dead. Yeah, like yeah. Day of the Dead type stuff. I yeah. didn't think it was that. It the, felt a lot like the Arkham games, now that I think about it, it more. Did. Yeah, this was like an like Arkham the, game movie. His fighting was so ruthless and badass. Oh, I like the um, the red and black, the theme of my makeup. <laughs> the red and black uh, <coughs> colors throughout the movie. The red was a unique take. Yeah. I Has that ever really been used to, like, associate? That's been no. associated with, uh, what's his face, Damien? Isn't Damien Wayne the one who becomes, like, Red Hood or whatever? Red Hood. Is that his name, Red Hood? Oh my! You mean like Speedy? Or wait, no. Uh, you're, just, you're gonna say Speedy Gonzalez? No, Spe <laughs> Speedy is Red Arrow. No, the the Batman. It was in the last Arkham game, Arkham Knight. It's like one of the ex Robins. Oh, becomes oh yeah, uh, Red Hood. No, uh, Jason, Red Jason Todd. Yeah, but what's the name of the villain? Yeah. Is it Red Hood? Yeah, I think it is Red yeah, Hood. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's Jason Todd. He's like the second. So that's what I wanted to talk about, too. Let's do a little, like, casting predictions. Who do you think would be a good casting choice for Robin? Dick Grayson, not Jason Todd. Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. No, Tom Holland would be a good Jason Todd. Um, I don't know. And I don't want to, like, because I thought, like, a lot of the casting for this movie was super unique. And it yeah. worked really well. So maybe so, they don't go with a big name? Yeah, yeah, and I kind of don't want them to. So me throwing out, like, one of the... Because I don't know the names of a lot of actors outside of the big ones. Yeah. So me throwing out a big name actor, like, I don't want to see it. I want to see some unique actor that I've never fucking seen before. Like, yeah. I, I, I've i known of Pattis Pattinson, and I've seen him in a lot of stuff. But he's... This is his first... Outside of Twilight, which was very niche, even though it was huge. It was a niche yeah. movie. This, um... This is his first foray into, like, huge Hollywood. Yeah. Like, legitimately. It's so good. Um, So do you have any uh, more chips you want to get into? No, I think that's it. Um, I didn't like it at first, but now that I've thought about it, I've, like, I've liked it a lot. And I, I want to go watch it again. And the funeral scene was good, too, when, like, that guy drove in. With the that was fucking cool. Yeah. And the, the suspense building in this movie, like, yeah. you knew what was happening. Like, yeah. I knew what was happening. I was like, there's a fucking car. And nobody was moving. And it, like, it just made me, like, fucking tingle. Yeah, there's just, like, there's so much to talk about this movie. That's why we'll talk about more when we do the video ranking all of them. You know what we should do is, let's say, like, people enjoyed our chat about this. Yeah. Uh, when it comes out on, like, streaming services or Blu-ray. Yeah. We should do an hour by hour breakdown. Yeah. So, like, the first hour, second hour, third hour. Yeah. So, like, the, Yeah. That'd be cool. Because um, I want to watch again, but I want to, like, analyze yeah. each hour a little bit yeah. more. Yeah, there's so much to analyze, yeah. especially with all the, co like, Riddler codes and shit. Um, all right, so let's get into our last segment here. 
in your wettest dreams. I haven't heard that one. You haven't? No. Oh, in this segment, this is our wettest dreams where we talk about the hottest people in the movie and we play the classic fuck, Mary kill game with the top three build. <clears throat> okay. So what was the thing that um, gave you the wettest dreams in this movie? Uh, Robert Pattinson creepily staring down Zoe Kravitz changing. <laughs> that was just weird. That was a little weird. And that gave you a wet dream? Yeah. I liked, uh, yeah, their, their chemistry together when they made out was really hot. Um, so fuck Mary Kill, you go first. Uh, Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, and Jeffrey Wright, who played James Gordon. I will marry Jeffrey Wright. Okay, you'll marry Gordon. Because he was a very good man. Yeah. And I'm not gay, I'm not a homosexual, but yeah. I'd do it for him. Okay. Don't I it would well, you suck. don't have you don't have to <clears throat> fuck who you marry, you guys could just have like a platonic partnership. It would suck if he's like knocking on my door tomorrow. Yeah. With like a, like fucking marriage papers. Um, fuck Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> kill. <And> kill, <laughs> Batman. kill Robert Pattinson. You're killing Batman. All right. Well, but I think that shows, like, and I'm basing it off of their performances in the movie. Yeah. Like, not who they are as people. Like, this is a fucking stupid game. Well, yeah, no, this is the, um, yeah, this is not the actor. He had no, like, actual real people redeeming qualities. Yeah. And that was one of my biggest gripes with it. And yours, too, was that he. Yeah. He was he, kind yeah. of like a little emo bitch. Yeah. <laughs> little emo bitch. He was. But I think that was kind of the point but of I the movie. But I want to fuck so. him because emo bitches are my type. Of course. And then who are you going to kill? Uh, I'm going to have to kill Jeffrey Ram. I'm going to kill Gordon. And then you're going to marry Zoe Kravitz. Marry Zoe Kravitz, girl. Oh, God. Her nails. Those pussy pink nails. Okay. And, like, her short hair. I don't even know if they were pink. But in the, her short hair and then, like, the wigs. Like, she was working those wigs. Yeah, she's very attractive. She's very attractive. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, like, Gordon was just so good. I can't get over it. Like, I wish that we talked about that more. Like, Gordon was, like, that was a really good character. Yeah, it was. And it's going to cool. It's gonna be cool to see him get to become Progress, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I'd like that. I like how he was letting, like, he, Batman into the crime scenes. It was so cool. Yeah. But I didn't think that I'd like that this was, like, an early version of everybody. Yeah. Because that's kind of what I respected about Batfleck was, like, oh, he's already established. What is man. all this stuff? Yeah. Like, what what happened? And we don't know because they fucking canceled it. But I um, so sad. I, I thought I wouldn't like this, but we've never kind of seen it. Yeah. Ever. It was so awesome. So it'll be cool. So what do you give this movie out of 10? IMDb, it's gone, it has like a 91 audience and like 83 critical on Rotten Tomatoes. I think 83 is pretty accurate. And then, I'm going to agree with the critics here. And then um, on IMDb, it's like 8.5 or something like that. Yeah. So when we initially walked out. out of 10. When we initially walked out, I said 7 out of 10. You said yeah. 5 out of 10. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, 5 out of 10. Yeah. And I it's and slowly... that's not what I think of at all now. Yeah, no, me too. It's slowly moved up to like a... Because for me, 5 out of 10 is it's an average score. Like 5 that's... out of 10 is trash for me. <laughs> no, that's not trash for me. That's just like an average movie. And basically, 5 out of five to 5 out of 10 for me is like I liked half of it and didn't like half of it. Yeah. Um, but... I think it's and more this than is that. I liked way more now. Yeah, but this is the issue with these longer movies is you can't leave the theater and like give a review right away. Yeah. Because there's so much more to just think about regarding it. And a way for me to rate a movie too is rewatchability is a big thing. I could go rewatch this. I did. Even though I said I would never rewatch this. Yeah, you did. <laughs> We, um, I don't know why we were like. Maybe it's because it was really late at night. It might have been. I was exhausted by the end of it, so yeah. I, I maybe I was just grumpy. But yeah, because I went to the theaters the day after again and watched it. <laughs> so yeah, I watched it twice. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna be super rewatchable, like over and over. I think I, I think that's a length issue. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Yeah. Yeah. No, eight. Okay. Eight out of ten because there were there were like a yeah. few things that we touched on that I think could have yeah. made it a little bit of a tighter yeah. package, for but me, it was it, good. If it was shorter and but I don't know. Yeah, it's just so it's hard for me. But right now it might change. It might go up. But right now for me, eight and a half for this movie. Any final thoughts? No. Uh, pretty uh, decent. Movie. It was better than pretty decent. Addicts. Very yeah. Movie Addicts Anonymous. Yeah. Ooh.
Yeah, that was a good one.